MagSafe. Now you've probably seen the following words on the size of your MagSafe charger. Like 60 watts MagSafe power adapter, 85 watts MagSafe 2 power adapter, or even uh, 45 watts MagSafe power adapter. And you probably wondered what they stand for, what they mean. Simply put, it's the power output of your MagSafe charger. In this video, we're going to find out how much power your MacBook is receiving from the MagSafe charger. To begin with, we look at the letter W beside the numbers. W stands for watts, and watts is basically a unit of power. Without getting into too much physics, watts is a product of the current and the voltage. That is, watts equals to current times the voltage. Current is measured in amperes, so we can basically say watts equals to voltage times amperes. In this case, we have an 85 watt MagSafe 2 power adapter. This is a charger which is used to power the 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina. This means that for us to get the 85W, 85 watts, we need to have voltage multiplied by current which will give us 85 watts. That is how we get the rating of our MagSafe chargers. On this other side of the MagSafe charger, we have this small lettering. Output equals to 20V at 4.25A. Now, these numbers are different from MagSafe 1 to MagSafe 2. Both give out 85 watts, but MagSafe 1, which is the, has an L-shaped connector, gives out 18.5 volts at 4.6 amps. In this case, we have a MagSafe 285 watt adapter, which has a rating of 20 volts at 4.25 amps. This is a very big difference, which you should know when you are uh, sourcing for a MagSafe 1 or a MagSafe 2 charger. Now, to get the power rating of this, we basically get the product of the voltage and the amps. This is 20 by 4.25 amps, which gives us the 85 watt. The same formula can be used to obtain 45 watts from the MagSafe 2 power adapter. Remember the 45 watts MagSafe 2 power adapter is used to power the MacBook Air 13 inch. Now to get the wattage of this charger, we go to the side where we have the voltage and the amperes indicated. Here we have 14.85 volts by 3.05 amps. Using the formula W equals to V times A, where W is the wattage and uh, the V is the voltage and the arm A is the amps. We'll multiply 14.85 by 3.05 and obtain 45.8 two nine two five watts which is roughly 45 watts therefore the rating or the power output for this charger is 45 watts and that's how we find the ratings of any MagSafe charger be it 60 watts 85 watts or 45 watts let's now practically test this we want to find out if the power output written on the outside of our MagSafe charger is the same power which is being received by our MacBook machine. Uh, in this case, we are going to use uh, the 45 watt MagSafe 2 charger, that's the Retina charger, together with a 13 inch MacBook Air. Here we have a 45 watt MagSafe 2 charger. It's already connected to the power source. All we need to do is now is to connect it to our MacBook Air. and the amber light shows that it is charging fine. On our desktop, we find the Apple menu. Click on that, then click on the About This mark. Next, we'll go to the System Report, click on that too. You'll get uh, another window with many menus. 
click on the power menu on the left and this will give you some other menus on the right we've got the battery power hardware configuration system power settings all these are concerning the power of your machine there is the charge information too it shows uh here is it fully charged no this is charging yes you have also the health of our battery the cycle count is 679 for this and the condition is a uh, service recommended scrolling down the menu what you want to see is the charger information in this case our charger is connected yes the id of the charger is there but what we are mainly concerned with is the wattage in this case it's 45 so this shows us that uh, our macbook is is uh, receiving 45 watts as the charger says so these are fairly correct and accurate tests for your macbook chargers and uh, that's how you find out the wattage or the power output of your charger thanks for watching kindly subscribe like share thank you